Ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new video. And a couple of days ago, I thought I'd done my last OnePlus 6 video in quite a while when I unboxed the silk white version. And barring a couple of camera comparisons which are still coming, I thought we were gonna take a little break from the OnePlus 6 videos because there has been quite a few recently. But then, a few of you actually commented on this silk white unboxing video saying, you've had the mirror black version now since before the release. What are your opinions? after a month's use. <laughs> I didn't even realize I'd had it for over a month. That's crazy. I did a five day review, a two week review, but I haven't done a month's worth of use review. And I would be doing you a disservice if I don't go through and do that. So that's exactly what today's video is. So let's get straight to it. <laughs> right, so I've had the OnePlus 6 mirror black version for about six six months, I was gonna say. I definitely haven't had it that long. That would be quite impressive considering it probably wasn't even a prototype. But I've had it for just over a month, just before it was released around the time of the launch. I've had the silk white version for a couple of days, but I haven't actually used it at all because I will be giving this away this week. I don't wanna use it in case I drop it. So we're gonna put that down to one side. The main things I'm gonna talk about isn't gonna be the design, isn't gonna be the specs. It's gonna be the actual use that I've had in terms of performance. Has it slowed down at all? Camera, has it lived up to expectation? Have I noticed any glitches, crashes, you know, all them things that tend to happen as a phone gets a bit older. So if you haven't got the OnePlus 6 yet and you are still looking to possibly buy it and you want sort of like an up-to-date mini review on how I'm getting on with it, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So, so one of OnePlus's biggest selling points with the 6 is that it will be as fast on launch as it will be in a month's time, six months time, a year's time. Now, obviously I can't tell you about six months and a year, yeah, I will do, but I can tell you about a month's use. So it had all of the biggest specs, Snapdragon 845 chipset, Adreno 630 GPU. This one's got eight gigabytes of RAM. So all of the specs on paper would suggest I would have absolutely no problems. And the slogan on launch was the speed you need. And to be fair, after a month's use, can honestly say it is still absolutely rapid. It is by far one of the fastest things you can use on the market. Multitasking, day-to-day -day use, it's just an absolute dream to use. It's a, it is a beast. I have had a couple of little hoops and hollers. Is that, that's definitely not the phrase, hoops and hollers. I've had a few little hiccups is a, a better description. And it mainly revolves around the actual camera. I've noticed a couple of times when I've been taking photos, it will just glitch up and freeze a little bit and then it will then crash out of the camera app and I'll be left with the message, fail to open camera. Uh, as you can see on the screen now. Now, I don't know whether that's because I've got the review unit. I don't know whether there are slight differences between this and the actual retail versions. It's a possibility, but let me know in the comment section below if you have bought the OnePlus 6 and you have noticed that as well. It'd be interesting to know. Outside of that, there's, there has been a couple of times where it has lagged a tiny incy wincy bit. In terms of the everyday user, it wouldn't affect you in the slightest. If you want perfection, it's not gonna do it, but then there is no phone on the market that is 100% perfect. Any tech is gonna glitch up every now and again, but I can count them on probably one hand in a month when it has actually done that. Fingerprint sensor is as lightning fast now as it was a month ago. The face unlock, while I still don't think it's a very secure way of having your phone compared to the fingerprint sensor or compared to like the iPhone 10 or the Xiaomi Mi 8 face unlock, which uses 3D. It's still rapid and it still works. Sometimes if you're not quite at the right angle, it will fail to see it. It's fairly normal, I think, with face unlock, but there are stories of it being fooled by photos. So just keep that in mind in terms of security. One thing I'm actually quite disappointed with with OnePlus 6 over even the OnePlus 5T, which is over there. I would bring it over, but that's a waste of your time and mine, is actually the double tap to wake. It's not as responsive. It, I mean, it does work, but it's not as responsive as the 5T even. Um, I don't know whether that's just because I've got the screen protector on it and that's stopping it, or whether again, because it's a review unit, I don't know. But I have noticed like then, it didn't come on. There's a couple, it, it definitely, you have to hit it a lot harder than I was expecting for it to actually uh, work. If you just sort of taxi look, it, it's, it's not 100% of the time and it does depend on where you actually touch it on the, on the screen. So hopefully something that OnePlus will be looking at and improving perhaps for the 6T if they bring one out or the 7, or maybe that can be fixed in another way, I don't know. Again, let me know below if you have had that same experience as well. If one thing I mentioned on my full review of the OnePlus 6 is that I wasn't a fan of the fact that the percentages couldn't be seen for the battery on your normal layout. You had to actually swipe down to see it like that. 
With the software update, which came out about a week or so ago, they did include that tweak in the upgrade. So now you can see, as you can see, the percentage right there on the notification bar, which just makes that two-step process so much easier. Well, it makes it a one-step process, so. <laughs> You just look at it, you don't have to do anything. So that is good. Just to show that OnePlus as a company are listening to feedback from the consumer and they are trying to improve all the time. One thing they haven't changed in that update, which I was surprised about, is the rounded corners. Now, as you well know, the OCD in me actually noticed that the bottom corners are far more rounded than the top corners when you use the hide the notch option with the software. Much squarer at the top than at the bottom and it doesn't quite look symmetrical. Now I did a video on a great app that you can actually download on the OnePlus 6 which rounds off the corners on the top to match the bottom and it looks far more symmetrical if you're not a notch lover. And that works great. I would have thought though they would have tried to change that on the software update. Maybe they will in the future again, hopefully they do. Again, not a deal breaker, but just little things that I think that OnePlus might want to know. Also, another thing they tweaked in that update is improved ringtone volume and sound quality. And that was one of my negatives in my original review as well, is that the volume doesn't seem to really kick in on the speaker until you get to around halfway. It's very, very quiet in that early stages. I can say it has improved a little bit, not 100%. I still find it quite quiet in that lower area but it is an improvement. In terms of the ring volume, I didn't really notice a problem anyway, but the feedback from some of you guys is that you did. So hopefully you found that uh, an improvement. They also fixed a few stability issues like dual SIM cards and things like that. So on the whole, nice to see them improving it and nice to see them staying on top of that. Dash charging after a month still works absolutely amazing. As if you're a OnePlus fan, you would expect. I've had no problems with the OnePlus 5T in that department. The charging is brilliant. Now I'm gonna jump onto camera and the camera on the whole I have been very impressed with from the start in terms of this price range again it's still not the best camera on the market but you don't expect that for the price you know remember that the lowest version of this is around 469 pat not nearly it is 469 pounds is the opening base model of the OnePlus 6. You know, it's not cheap, it's not really inexpensive, but it is budget, again, in my opinion, when you compare it to the top flagship phones like the Samsung S9, the Pixel 2 XL, etc. when you take into account the actual specs that this bad boy has. Bad boy. I need to stop saying that. And it's painful when I say it, for me, so I dread to think what it's like for you. This bad boy. <laughs> the pictures are very true to life. They don't oversaturate. They don't, you know, add many quirks and special features like a lot of the other phones at the moment that are going down the sort of AI route. It, it's just very simple and it, it kind of just works. Low light situations have definitely been improved as well with the OnePlus 6 over previous models. And that still rings true after a month as it did when I first reviewed it. There has been about three different software updates on my specific reviewers unit of the OnePlus 6. And after the third one, there was a slight problem with focusing on the bokeh. It does though seem to have sorted itself out. So the sort of depth effect, it was struggling to focus on the main subject of the photo in order to sort of blur that background. I only had a problem for about a day or so and then it sort of seemed to work itself out. It doesn't feel quite as bad now as when the update first came through, but I definitely feel that there is a slight issue on those specific portrait photos. Like I said, it seems to hunt for the focus a little bit too much, something that could definitely be tweaked in a future software update again. Outside of that, the photos, as I said, are very, very impressive and definitely one of the best cameras on a smartphone in this tier. It is on the whole very, very good. In terms of the water resistancy, like I mentioned in my original review, I believe it's close to an IP rating, but they don't want to guarantee it. Maybe it was more expensive to get that IP rating, I don't know. I have had it in rain, I have dropped it a couple of times in, in very small amounts of water, and I've had no issues whatsoever. I've had no changes in performance, display, anything like that. Now we're going to talk about the build quality. While on the OnePlus 5T, I did notice after about four months or so, one of the volume buttons didn't have that same nice click to it. I've had no problems so far after a month, but again, this may change over time. All the buttons on here are still very clicky, very firm. They feel very premium. I don't feel like they're gonna break at this moment in time. Same can be said for the alert slider. I use that quite a lot and it's withstood the test after a month. One thing I have noticed on the mirror black version is that there are a few minor scratches on the back. Every day wear and tear, you would probably wanna put a skin 
or a case on it. It's just natural, most people will anyway. I haven't had the same problem with the camera bump, which was one of my pet peeves as well. I don't like camera bumps on phones. I haven't noticed any scratches, which is one of the reasons why I don't like camera bumps. The 5T again, scratched really badly. The 5 scratched really badly. The OnePlus 6, so far, I haven't had any scratches on it. So I'll keep you posted on that. I have noticed small amounts of dust going into the uh, earpiece, the speaker on the top of the front. I've not noticed any problems with performance because of that. Again, just something I thought you might want to know. No problems with NFC, no problems with Bluetooth. And I think that's kind of the basis for this review. There are a couple of little things here and there which aren't perfect. But on the whole, the performance and everything about this phone after a month are still as they were when I first unboxed it. I still get that amazing feeling when you pick up a new phone and you think, yeah. And I still feel it's one of the best looking devices on the market. Like I said at the start, this video was very much off the cuff. It wasn't planned. I haven't written anything down. It's just my honest overall sort of opinion when I've turned the camera on. So there will be a couple of things that I've possibly forgotten. I will be updating my Twitter and Instagram feeds with the bits of that information. So if I have forgotten anything, I will update you on that as well. And if you have any questions on certain things that I haven't mentioned, I will tell you how I've got on with that in my month's use. This is where I want you guys to help each other out. Let each other other note in the comment section below you guys who bought it on launch and I've had it for just three weeks or so how you've got on with it has it lived up to your expectations have you noticed any problems with the OnePlus 6 or is it still a beast is it still the speed you need as always I'd love to hear your thoughts remember the details for the giveaway will be announced in a video this week like and share if you did enjoy this video on the OnePlus 6 and find it helpful Dislike the video if you didn't like it and didn't find it helpful. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell if you love everything tech, whether it be videos on OnePlus, smartphones in general, tech in general, laptops, computers, tablets, all of that sort of goodness. I also do software and app reviews, pretty much daily content on this channel. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Say so it's BYT. Peace out.